How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at Webroot Secure Anywhere 2022 and this is what it looks like here once you install it. Um, if you want to install a 14-day trial like I did, uh, this will be where you do it. This is where you put your name, your email, and then you just click on Start Free Trial. We'll post the link of the dis uh, I'll post the link on the description on the video below where to go to the free trial. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like here once you install it. Secure anywhere. Now, um, this is a more advanced software piece of software here. This is for. Uh, I recommend this more for uh, IT professionals, and I'll show you why. Because of the tools that are in here, really nice tools. I wish I had when I used to be in the IT field. But anyway, right off the bat here, it'll tell you how many days you got left to your subscription. And you can go ahead and uh, you can click on scan my computer here and it'll start to scan it. But we'll minimize that for now. Oh, we can go back to the... We'll cancel it for now. Because this scan will take forever, guys. Make sure you do it overnight. But I'm going to cancel it for now so we can go back to the program. So apparently you can't scan and use the program at the same time. So remember that. Some, some of these programs let you scan and then go back and and check out other things but it looks like this one doesn't just remember that anyway so here on the right hand side right away we see um, the shield it's got a real-time shield web shield and firewall but before we go into the nitty-gritty here let's take a look at what PC mag had to say about the pros and cons of it so pros excellent antivirus protection it's got 25 gigs of hosted storage to back up and sync files it's got third-party password manager which we'll take a look at here in a bit light on system resources so it's well basically what that means is that it it doesn't take it doesn't slow down your computer it's got a fast scan fast scan option on here now the cons is backup no longer available for mac os or android that's not good android support seriously diminished if you're going to use it on android it's probably not a good idea firewall not working during testing ooh ooh during the test it didn't work <laughs> so basically uh according to the experts at pc mag uh, the firewall didn't even work <laughs> should we continue with the review or just tell you not to get it <laughs> secure deletion tool does not does no data overriding at default level okay so basically it's saying that uh the secure deletion tool does not work basically is what that's saying right there all right let's take a look at uh the complete specs here so it's vpn it's got no vpn Nowadays, you need a program with VPN. If you're going to pay for something, make sure it has VPN. Um, and another thing, it keeps popping up here on the bottom right-hand corner. I don't know if I like that. I don't like pop-ups either. Firewall, yes. Anti-spam, no. Parental control, no. It should have a parental control. So I already, I'm, I'm going to tell you this is probably not a good software. <laughs> it's got no parental control, no VPN, which is what you need nowadays. And the, the firewall didn't work in the test. Tune-up, yes, it's got a tune-up function to it. All right, let's go back to it. All right. Now, it does have identity protection. If you click on the little sprocket here, you'll be able to go in there and see more of it. So everything right here is checked. We could do an application protection, too. Um, you can add it here. So if you have an uh, application that you want to put on here to be protected, extra protection, you can click here on add application and then you can add it from there all right we got the password manager to use it you're gonna have to click here on learn more and then it'll take you through the uh, through the uh, how to portal here and then you'll be able to do it here but when I was looking here um, there it is last pass password manager you have to click on that watch the videos how to use it and all that and that's how you can use that to keep your passwords, um, you know, somewhere in case you forget them, you'll be able to, you know, get them back. Now the utilities, which this is really cool stuff. I wanted to show you guys. This is for you guys that are uh, IT professionals. If a virus has a desktop wallpaper change, you can reset it here. Reset screensaver. Set system policies to default. Reboot into safe mode, which is really freaking a pain in the ass nowadays with the new uh, Windows 10 and 11. But from here, straight from this app, from this application, you can reboot straight into safe mode. 
and you can perform an immediate system reboot as well so those are really cool tools there just click on run tools here and it'll run those and now another cool thing is the manual threat removal so you can select the file where you want to manually go in there and remove a threat and if you have a script that you have uh, written you can select the script here which is re that's really cool tools right there guys for you guys that are um, IT professionals the reboot into safe mode that right there that's really cool system control now you can control active processes if you click start here you can see what processes are running you can go in here you can close them and you can um, you can either say block or allow I'm gonna say no here I don't want to block whatever that is but uh, yeah you right here you can come in here and block boom and then block it which is another cool feature for UIT professionals now this is really cool this has got the safe start sandbox if you ha if you download a program that you don't trust you don't think uh, you're like uh, you can run it in the sandbox and I've always been looking for a program like this find it here you can browse for it and run it here on the sandbox and if it is a virus it won't affect your computer it'll just be inside the sandbox here so that's re that's, that's what, what I really like about this secure anywhere from web root is the tools more than actually the protection <laughs> But if you're going to be paying for this thing, you got to make sure it works, guys. So already that has me really worried right there. Um, and this is from PC Mag. This is a screenshot from PC Magazine. Firewall not working during tests. That right there. That right there should stop you from buying it. I'm sorry, WebRoot, but if the firewall is not working, that's not good. All right. And if you want to look at your account, you can click here and you can upgrade if you really want to buy it. Anyway, you got 14 days to try it out. This is where you put your activation key. And they it looks like they have a support and community as well. You can get customer support through here. So there it is. There's your secure anywhere from Webroot. Now, if I had to if I had to um, give it anywhere from one to five stars, if I had to rate it. I'd have to give it uh, probably two or three stars because uh, apparently it doesn't work. The firewall doesn't work. It does not have parental control and it does not have a VPN. And nowadays you need a VPN. So if it doesn't have those two in there and and then during testing it didn't work. So it's got a two or three stars. Three stars because of the utilities. Let's call it three stars. It's got really good utilities. I would probably just download the if I was an IT professional, I'd probably just download the 14-day uh, trial just to use the utilities, and that's it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, let me know on the description below. I mean, on the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about WebRoot Secure Anywhere 2022, and I'll see you soon in one of my next videos.